Datura is a uh, name of a flower, which is um, beautiful from one side and also poisonous. This means that it's ambivalent value. And this is what Datura, uh, Datura game is about. You have two opposite values, like black and white, uh, death and life. Datura is like interactive experience rather than a game. We wanted the player to feel like he's inside it and not, this is not a story about some kind of character. We took many inspirations from various sources, not only other games, but also movies and books and everything that surrounds us. Because of that, we think that Datura is not very narrow, like, like the other games can be, but it's more wide and it might touch the user's experience. In some sense, Datura is a little bit like a movie, because its length is like a movie and we wanted the player to experience it in one session. So there wouldn't be like a broken experience at all. We would like the, uh, the players to pass it and then try to discuss it, like talk with each other. And this is what the game is about. We chose to use Move Controller because it was something new for us at that moment. We got the prototypes three years ago, and I was thinking what to do with it, and it was actually the first idea to make some kind of visual hand. First, I completely don't know what we were trying to do and how hard it will be, but in the end we tried several different iterations, and we did something that actually works. We decided to incorporate 3D in, into the game after we had a um, working virtual arm. It's because we wanted Datura to be as most immersive as it can be, and 3D enabled us to increase the immersion even further. We also support the traditional DualShock controller. It's because in Datura the story is most, most important and we wanted all the people to enjoy it and not only the ones who had the move controller. <laughs>